after this. We've got a new friend for everyone. He's got fur and a tail. He gets in lots of trouble, but he's a bouncy little fellow because he's got springs for legs. Pogo the monkey, the best new video game for the whole family. I love you, Pogo. You bound. Help Pogo escape from the evil research laboratory where the mean old scientist genetically altered him. Uh-oh, the pharmaceutical scientist is going to get you, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a gold coin. Good thing Pogo has a banana cannon. Those ne We have certain issues to clear up before we continue any form of relationship, business or otherwise. Let's lay our cards on the table. I am Yakuza, and I know you worked for Salvatore Leone's family. I can give you work with our organization, but first you must prove to me that your ties with the Mafia are truly broken. Salvatore Leone will be leaving Luigi's in about three hours' time. Make sure he doesn't reach his club alive. Meanwhile, Maria and I will catch up on old times. Oh, Asuka, you've got a massager. That's not a massager. Dot com. All right, Liberty City, this is your talk radio show, Chatterbox, where your opinion matters. Let's go to the phones. Hey, Hello, caller, Red. you're on Chatterbox. Hey, you're Red Possum. That's good eat. Nah, I really can't say I had it. Well, you will try sometimes. Hey, man, it's good eat. Poppy, raccoon, eat super meat. It's pretty good. Uh, do you have anything else to say, or? Pigeons. Pigeons are good, too. Sometimes... They come with notes and that. It's like a fortune cookie with wings. World. World not so good. They taste like goldfish. Meat's real springy. You know what I mean? Um, actually, I can't say that I do. Um, but, but if I did eat too much squirrel and put on a few extra pounds, I'd use the Dormatron. Unlike those other exercise machines that require you to be awake, the Dormatron actually exercises you overnight. Let's learn a little bit more about it. You come out! I've tried! You want a license too? No more escort services for me. Don't be fat a day longer than you have to. Remember, being fat can even ruin a romantic cruise. Call Dormatron now at 1-800-SLEEP-OFF-LARD or visit www.sleepofflard.com and sleep your way to a thinner, happier you. I'm a marketing manager who lives in the suburbs and commutes to work on the highway. I live alone, so of course I needed a car that could seat 12 and is equipped to drive across Arctic Tundra. It just makes me feel better. The new Maibatsu monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Oh, well, that's a good commercial. Now, I love commercials, don't you? This is Chatterbox. We are uh, taking your calls right now. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hi, Lazo. Is that your real name? Of course it's my real name. Are you Hungarian? <laughs> uh, no, I'm from upstate. Are you sure that's not a fake radio name like Andy or Bobo? I thought all those radio people had fake names. Do you have a question or you just want to sit here and talk all day about my name? No, that's it. Love the show, Laszlo. Or Mark.
And Sam, in a homemade banana can, in shop class, and was mobbing them across the street at a fast food restaurant. And it's all because of video games. Laszlo, life does not have a reset button. Right, but this show does. I love that button. You know, it's never a dull moment on this show, especially if you're in our key demographic. Love Media, bringing people to the finest of entertainment. All right, hello, next caller. You're on Chatterbox. I want to talk about that thing. Don't say it's bad. It's not bad for you at all. Why aren't you talking? Oh, you think I'm strange? Play on the air. Hello? Get me, you pansy. What's your question? Bang, 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 I don't bang. Know. What about it? I mean, that's not really a question. Questions usually start with words like how and why, and they end with your voice going up like this. Don't mock me. I know where you work. You're just another rat. How's that? All right, it's evil, dude. And toothpaste, they use it to control us. Why do you think all the commercials tell you to brush your toy today? I have read books. And what book have you been reading that tells you that toothpaste is evil? Tetris, The Devil, and The Great Cavity Cover Up by J. Phil Higginbottom. If you've seen what I've seen, and if you've heard what I've heard, you'd never brush your I don't need to send the ID. You look trustworthy. Say, if anyone else is stressed, might I recommend Equinox from Zaibatsu Pharmaceuticals? We'll be back after these important messages. Hello! I used to be concerned and nervous about the future. Sometimes I'd get scared before an important event such as childbirth or a family funeral. Hey, sometimes you need a little help navigating life's trouble spots. That's when I discovered Equinox. After the divorce and losing little Tommy, life was getting me down. I couldn't focus on anything at work. After trying Equinox, I've been employee of the month three times in a row. I used to pull unconscious for hours at a time. Now with Equinox, I never need to sleep. Equinox is new from Zaibatsu Pharmaceutical. Salvatore's death comes as pleasurable news. You're an efficient killer. I like that in a man. Ah, this is my brother, Kenji. Asuka has a little job for you. But when you're done, drop by my casino and we can talk. Just like Kenji, always trying to play with my toys. My police source indicates that the FBI has mounted a surveillance operation at key locations around the city. It is too late to contact anyone and avoid incrimination. Take out these spying cops, but be careful. They're bound to have backup. What's on your mind? Line four, you're on Chatterbox. What's on your mind? Rudy City Cocks rule! Ah, that's lovely, thanks. Next caller, you're on Chatterbox. That last guy was so full of crap. Everyone knows women are made from sand. Okay, great. Another lunatic. Hello, next caller. You are on Chatterbox. Yeah, you were talking about short guys and attitudes. Well, you know, you'd have Watch an attitude too if you couldn't reach the friggin' cheesy squirrels in. Don't have Act is really wrong. My father worked his whole life. He played the lottery. 
now the state wants to pay taxes on the money he wins from this? child psychologists who probably say that spanking can be harmful to a child's emotional development. Up, up. Fast-paced world, a split second can be the difference between achieving your dreams. Hey, I just won the Nobel Peace Prize. And not. Well, I'm wondering if Rasmus is on More Americans are realizing if you don't have the latest and greatest technological devices, you will fall behind. I didn't upgrade my personal organizer, and two days later, I was diagnosed with a terminal illness. <laughs> That's exactly why you should come visit the friendly people at House of Tomorrow, and they'll set you up with all your 21st century technology needs. I only spent $20,000, and now I can get email in the shower or surf the internet while I'm driving. I was bored stupid at my daughter's recitals and my son's Little League games. <laughs> Thanks to House of Tomorrow, I can play wireless head-to-head -head three... A reporter has been nosing around. Marie and I have taken a little holiday together until you can get rid of this perverted voyeur. He's probably out in the bay as you read this. Steal a police boat and sink his career.
It's my handsome handyman. Maria's all tied up at the moment, but I'll tell her you called. Is that It's time you met our man inside the LPD. Here's a payment for the last little job he did for us. He is understandably cautious. Get to the payphone in Torrington as quick as you can and await his instructions. Heckley, passion, danger. How, Laszlo? How? Tell me how, and I give you a big, big kiss. Like I give a woman. But I am not going to give you a big kiss. Not a kiss like I give a woman, or even a donkey. Because, because you do not know. Well, I mean, in this case, ignorance uh, kind of seems like bliss. I I wasn't really up for kissing on air. I mean, why not, Laszlo? Am I not attractive? Am I not irresistible to you to you? Well, no matter. Why all this talking about kissing? I mean, you brought it up. No, my friend. You say you not want to kiss me. I was talking how to say, hypothetically, you make me all personal. It's a bit different. If I say, imagine if your wife was ugly, you can nod your head. But if I say, hey, Lalo. Get to the phone in West Belleville Park. What's up? But a man is born a man. And a man with knees. He needs a woman to tuck his babies into the bed. But for his bed, he needs something else. Something magical. So he starts flirting with the secretary, takes her out for a drink. One thing leads to another, and before you know it, he's found all kinds of uses for the office furniture. Exactly, Laszlo. I know what you are like. I see it in your eyes. A wonder. A dreamer. A man who has knees. But an idiot. And I can save you. And I can save your marriage. <laughs> My marriage doesn't need saving. You got any bad ideas on the site? Get to the phone on Liberty Tampa. You old cat! And now you are no angel. I can save you. For when the man he sees wife all fat, all early, with the dirty diapers, and the dirty panties and the scrubby brush, and who knows what else. He's not thinking marriage bad. He's thinking about, well, you thinking about your pretty assistant. We already know that, see? And uh, go on. But Laszlo, what if you act on your fantasy for your little secretary with the short skirt and the pretty eyes? Get to the phone in South Belleville Park. Back into square one. My friend, you and a thousand men like you. For me, once it was so. But then one day, I was driving my car and I realized, Fernando, you are blessed. You are a miracle. A thousand miracles roll into one. You save the marriage and you save the man. You don't put the marriage first and you don't put the man first. Maybe we call it man marriage. Then I think to myself, no, this is a bad thing. It sounds really dumb. Then I think that we call it Fernando's New Beginning. Because... Maybe in the toilet block in the park. And I have to say, on the spare half day, I save his life. How? By giving him what he needs. And I can Keep your eyes on the road! I give him passion. <laughs> what, with you? That kind of sounds like a limited market. Last night, you are very prejudiced. I don't like that. But no, not with me. You must be Azuka's new errand boy. You got the money? Is it all here? <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Another bent cop. Well, it's a bent world. Just because I lost a few partners, those suckers from internal affairs have started sniffing around. Reckon they can smell me. Well, this city is one big open sewer. But I'm gonna need some non-union help. And if you're interested, you know where to find me. Yeah. 
tough on Fernando back there. I'll tell you one thing, he's a miracle worker. He saved my marriage, and I married a bus of a woman. Now I don't feel sick every time I open my eyes. See, Laszlo? You see? I remember Jerry so well. He come in, he is like a broken man. Like a half a man. Maria and I have gone shopping. Our source in the police has informed us that one of our drivers is a strangely animated undercover cop. He's more or less useless out of his car, so we've tagged it with a tracer. Make him bleed. Follow things that you do in front. Beautiful union by a, an adulterer and Queen Kong. <laughs> That's great. So, uh, who's on the line now? Hi, Laszlo. This is Janet. I love the show and always wanted to call in. You really offended me today. Who is this gutter trash you got on the show? Hey, Janice, I share your anxiety. The studio kind of plan? forced him on me. Hey, do you watch yourself, Miss? Don't tell people. But he's probably a good daddy, and you sound very pretty. Angry, and a little bit of a know-it-all, but very pretty lady. This is the thing, Laszlo. The women they think in new beginnings is only for men. But no, it is for women too. For Janice, if her husband goes to new beginning, she thinks Senor Wonderful all over again. And in the extreme case, maybe she comes to work for me, and she gets a new beginning. Now listen, don't try to pimp out my listeners. That is a very ugly word. A travesty. I work miracles, senor. Not pimp. I say, I give the fashion back. And you better watch yourself, boy. Because for my people, we take this so very personal. And then, you no longer Mr. Toshio.
on the card table they crap out. Put it on done. That are like sheep that are going to take over. All right, thanks, caller. Ants, killer bees, fat people, what's plaguing you? Call now. Chatterbox, hello, you're on the air. Uh, yes. I'd like to say something about these damn people on trains and buses in the city who yammer on and on into their cell phones. I'm really glad to get to hear about what you're having for dinner. What we should do is hurt them up and put them on an island. I am the president of a group called Citizens Raging Against the Phone. Crap? Exactly. Your organization's called Crap. What? Hello? How many people? 